Good, very early morning to all of you. Morning. Here from Copenhagen Airport, where the time is 20 to 4 in the morning. We're about to catch a SAS flight to... Arlanda, Stockholm. Arlanda, Stockholm. It's an airport we've never visited. We're going to be catching a SAS flight, SAS Scandinavian Airlines flight there. And from there, we're going to be flying with Singapore Airlines for the first time. We're looking forward to that. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to book our seats in advance because it's a partner airline flight. Um, technically, we're flying with SAS and it's operated by Singapore Airlines and they have not allowed us to book our seats. So we do hope that we will get window seats so we can film something. In a moment, we're going to see if we can check in. The airport looks pretty quiet at the moment. So there probably are not any desks open for check-in yet. Well, now it's time to check the luggage in. So here we are, we've got our luggage on the luggage belt with our beautiful covers on. And we're just checking in for our flight to Stockholm, we're trying to see if we can organize our seats on Singapore Airlines. These are fields. Our baggage will be checked all the way through to Singapore. Ready to go. I like with this one on that fancy. Yes. Yeah. So now we just checked in. It was an excellent check-in uh, experience. The lady was very nice. Now we just have to find our flight up there on the board. And then we'll make our way up to security. We we'll probably have to draw some cash and see if we can get something to eat. Yeah. Maybe a bit of lounge access. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, because the time's about 20 past four here on the trusty Pulsar. And our flight leaves at what time? 7.20. 7.20. Three hours time. So there's time to have a look around and maybe relax a little bit. So let's just have a look at the board and then we'll make our way up. And Mara already spotted our flight. There we have it up there, 720, SAS SK402 to Stockholm, and we've already dropped our baggage off, so now we can make our way in that direction down there, up to the security control, and Maro can lead the way. And for those of you who haven't seen it yet, this bridge in the middle of the picture now, where people are walking over, is the brand new bridge. So this uh, bridge is built for the passengers who has made uh, self-check-in, and they come only with the hand luggage, so they can walk straight from metro to the security without passing all the hassle and bustle down there. And the metro is located right down there at the end. Yeah, very convenient for business people, maybe mostly. Still a lot of building going on here at Copenhagen Airport. So here we are again, we just passed through security control in the good old duty-free shopping area. <laughs> it smells so good, it has that very special smell. We're just going to make our way into the departure hall and then we'll see if we can find some lounge access and perhaps also draw some money for Singapore. Just straight ahead we have the apron. Those of you who watch our videos know that's our favorite place to start. We love to go out and see what aircraft are waiting out on the apron. The time is now 10 to 5 on the trusty Pulsar. Maro is just in front of me. Just making our way over to the apron. It's quite amazing to see that none of the shops are open yet. A few restaurants open. Joe and the juice over there on the left is open. And let's go over to the window and have a look at the aircraft. And here we are. Quite a few aircraft waiting for their first flights of the day, right down there in the end. And see Air Greenland. I'll come back to that in a moment. Over here to my left, we have some British Airways aircraft. Faroe Islands. I'll zoom in on that in a moment also. Some Thomas Cook. And uh, I think. There's something down there that looks like Ukraine Airlines, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not quite sure. There we have the 
island of the Faroe Islands, Atlantic Airways. And here we have the Air Greenland Airbus A330. It's really a beautiful aircraft. So now we got that tradition covered. Always nice to look out the window. Where, where are we going now? Lounge. A lounge yet? Lounge? Yes. Okay, let's go. And the lounge we're going to go to is down in that direction. Straight ahead we have the Danish Laukehuse, a nice little bakery. Oh, it seems the restaurants are slowly opening up. That one straight ahead is opening. Hopefully the lounge is open too with a little bit of breakfast and some coffee. So we're purchasing access to the Aviator Lounge. The price is 155 per person and that's all inclusive. Both alcoholic beverages, snacks and uh, nice seats and a lovely view. And we just got access to the business class lounge. And that cost us 310 Danish krona for the both of us. Well, there's not much of a view out here anymore. It used to be a view out onto the apron. Still construction going on. So it's not as comfortable as it usually is, but I'm sure it'll be a lot better once the construction work is done. So we got to take a seat down here, downstairs, even though it's not that comfy or inviting. But then we get a little bit of privacy. Yeah, we have a quick view of the lounge and the sitting area. And then we have the entrance down there. So here's our little seating area for the this morning. And Mauro's going first to choose some breakfast. Mauro's already organized some juice and some gamle dansk, a Danish bitter. It looks like we sit here for some breakfast here in the lounge. With the gamle dansk and everything? Of course. <laughs> and some nice breads, cheese ham. I of course took some marmalade for my cheese, oats. I'm thinking of you and my cheese and marmalade sandwich <laughs> as we prepare for our flight to Stockholm. This is a good way to start the day. A little bit of lounge access. I think I've got some seat between my teeth. I'll better hold my mouth a little bit. It'll be a nice flight to Singapore. It looks like uh, for our Singapore Airlines flight we got the emergency exit which we're going to try to change even though it's excellent leg room but the window is not very good and I like to film out of the window for that flight also so we'll see in Stockholm if we can change our seats hopefully we can and here we have it my famous cheese and marmalade sandwiches you know who you are I won't mention you again <laughs> it's actually quite delicious Mm, really good. And what do you have there now? No, a refill of Gamble Dansk. My father always said that you must take for both legs. Cheers. I guess I have to have for both legs too. <laughs> mm, very good for your balance for your stomach for the long flight. A very good excuse. Well, there's always a good <laughs> excuse. The time is now quarter to six here on the trusty pulsar. She doesn't like it when I say the trusty pulsar. This is a final call for passengers. Pulsar, you like pulsar. So we finished our breakfast. Marlo's putting a bit of lipstick on. I just made a Facebook update. If you haven't already followed us on Facebook, and would like to, please do so. I'll leave the link to our Facebook account and Instagram down in the comment section. And in a moment we're going to start to make our way out of the lounge and then it's off to change some money at the currency exchange. And now we're leaving the lounge and heading downstairs again. Looks like the queue is long for the bank. 
I was just joined the back of the queue, so good thing we came down a little bit early. Now we threw some money out of to the gate, our gate B7. We'll just check on the board up there in front whether it still is gate B7. So according to the sign here, it's still gate B7. From here it's about three minutes walk down to the gate. It's not a very nice looking area because there's still construction going on. But we're pretty sure it's going to be a nice looking airport once all the construction and expansions have ended. This area is looking normal again and we got to make our way right down to the end there to gate D7. Nice tax free shops down along the way. It's about a rainy day out there today. One SAS aircraft pushing back. Just have another look out the window. Just ahead of us we got a Lufthansa Airbus and a Brussels Airlines Airbus also in the background. Really lovely views here today. There's a big SAS Airbus A330 arriving. Zoom in a bit on that. Here's another nice view of the apron. And we're almost at our gate now. There you can see it, gate B7 just to the left of the picture. You found it. In, in we go. It doesn't look like there's many people there, but it can quickly fill up. It's very seldom we fly in an empty aircraft. Maybe this time we will fly to SK402, departing at 0720 today. And here in the picture we have our Airbus A320. It's going to be taking us to Stockholm today.